Okay, dudes. Oh, what is up? Today, uh, we're back with another spicy Beyblade burst combo. And, uh, so I guess who takes credit for this combo is a bit up in the air. I think the way it works was, um, Mana first posted testings about this layer using Jolt and Hunter on the WBO. And I was like, okay. So I developed this version of the combo for Anime North later that year. And then even later, uh, variations using Zephyr Dash that were used by Mana and Base Samurai J started showing up. So uh, I'm not really sure who to credit this combo with, but it is uh, Crash Ragnarok, Zero Cross, Destroy, or Destroy Dash. Destroy Dash is better just cause well, I'll go into why. So basically, uh, the layer, Crash Ragnarok, it's got a bunch of stamina. It's about on par with uh, Deep Chaos and Archer Hercules stamina-wise, if, if not a little better. Um, it's also got, like, a decent amount of attack. It will land, like, random critical hits. I'm not really sure where they come from because these look like the main contact points, but they also look pretty obstructed by this other thin wing here and the rest of it looks pretty smooth I, I, I don't know where these hits come from but they come from somewhere it'll land like random critical hits on pretty much anything uh but yeah its main drawback is that um the teeth are very bad so you must use it with a dash driver or you, you don't have to but it certainly helps out the self-bursting issue massively if you use a dash driver. Thankfully, um, Zephyr Dash, Destroy Dash, and Hunter Dash all exist. So those are uh, good drivers for this layer. And then uh, secondly, the disc is a uh, zero cross. Um, I used zero because for me it is the heaviest disc and uh, when I use Destroy, Destroy just has pretty bad KO resistance compared to most other drivers. So um, I just tried to make that as heavy as possible, resist the, or er, minimize the KO risk as much as I can on the combo. Uh, and uh, Cross was chosen because it actually transitions really well into Destroy when the combo falls over. Your Destroy transitions well into it. So basically after uh, Destroy tips over and falls off the outer rig, it'll continue to roll on cross a little bit and give it more life after death. And then finally the drivers Destroy Dash. Um, I used to do, use normal Destroy because one of mine happened to have a tighter spring, but this is that but better. So I just use Destroy Dash now. Um, it's got a decent amount of attack, kind of hard to control though. Um, kind of difficult to stall for the same reason. It's got the jaggy tip. If it is like a Just a normal round tip. It would be better, but It's also got a pretty good amount of life after death. It will most notably outspin uh, opposite spin atomic so Basically when I made this combo uh, Which was crash Ragnarok zero cross destroy It was my anti good person combo for anime north because it could burst Deep Chaos Revolve, Emperor Fornius Bearing. Uh, it could defeat both NL and BL if you weak launch it because of Destroy Dash. Uh, it could avoid some other attack types if you could launch it the right way. It could outspin Drain Fafnir on Atomic because with Spriggan Requiem Ban and Hell Salamander not released yet, that was going to be the most prominent left spin threat in the game. Uh, because most people wouldn't risk DF bearing, but it was it it lo it might lose to like random little kid combos, but against someone who knew what they were doing and used meta combos back then, it was like my anti good person combo. And now that uh, destroy dash is out, it's seeing a little bit more widespread use. So uh, I'll go into some of the matchups of the combo right now. All right, so first I'm gonna show. Uh Crash Ragnarok, Zero Cross, Destroy Dash against Hell Salamander, Seven Proof Atomic. Crash 
track knocked by a little bit. I'm testing it against uh, Archer Hercules Outer Eternal. It's capable of uh, landing a few bursts or outspin or bursts or KOs on Archer Hercules as well. But uh, you will want to try and sliding shoot just to knock Eternal off balance and to stabilize it. Fun. All right, up next I'm testing it in Archer Hercules 7 lift bearing. For this you're also going to want a sliding shoot to try and burst Archer Hercules because it's on bearing. But if they're using one of the uh, the life after death frames like lift or turn or wall, then you'll probably have a better chance of that spinning them just because those will scrape so easily in same spin.
yeah, it's a little easier matchup to win than um, the Eternal one, but it's still about a 50-50 depending on whether or not you can burst their Archer Hercules or outspin it depending on the frame it's using. But we do have uh, the stamina combo that I originally intended this to defeat uh, when I used the original Destroy Driver, not Destroy Dash, was uh, Deep Chaos 7 Revolve or Kanox C3-7 bearing in this case because that's a little harder to burst and has better life after death. switched to outer for that last round because my outer balance is better with my Kanox than my 7, but it's a significantly easier to burst than something like Archer Hercules is. I'm going to test it against uh, Health Salamander 7 lift bearing. Uh, this will lose by outspin, so what you've got to do is kind of like launch at a weird angle, at a weird strength, um, to try and get the burst, or I guess launch hard and go for the KO, but since Destroy Dash is kind of hard to control, that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, you can you can burst it. It's very rare. Why didn't this happen during VTuber Brawl? See, this is what I was getting the combo to originally, but I guess... Yeah, normally that's what should happen. I think my Hill Salamander might be like, easier to burst than some others because people have mentioned it like not bursting the bloody longinus like mine does so easily. Um, and then you just saw me get like three bursts in a row and maybe a KO, I'm not sure whether that bounced off the back wall or not, with the crash and dash. And if you see the video where I, with this, pretty much this matchup happens between me and uh, King Lufa, I don't get one burst on him at all even though I launched pretty much the same way I did for this battle here. So, who knows, I think it might be some variation with Hill Salamander going on, but unless you can get the burst of the KO, this combo should lose this matchup. So this combo actually has some uh, mobile defense properties as well, against something like a stationary attacker, like uh, Bloody Longinus on weight. You can just kind of weak launch and you should outspin them pretty easily. Or an opposite spin attacker like Bloody Longinus is what I meant. Um, stationary right spin attack, you're going to want to try and stall them out by launching hard. Yeah. I'm 
versus um, something like No Longer Alive Hades, 8 Dagger Extreme Dash, you're going to want to either try and sliding shoot or tornado stall, depending on what they do. You've got to try and predict what they do. And you have to launch so at worst they chase you around instead of running into you head on. Because if you get run into head on by something on Extreme Dash, you're going to get KO'd. Because destroys KO defense is pretty bad. So like, if you do this. Sliding shoot, you can KO them. Or they can KO you. Yeah, if you avoid or survive like all of the early hits, you're probably going to outspin the attacker. But Even then, you're still pretty likely to get KO'd because you're on the Stewie Dash by the same spin KO attack. And another, I guess, hard counter to this combo is just the straight up Stalwart version of the Crash and Dash, which is like a variant that gets see some use in uh, London. It's Crash Ragnarok, Outer Zephyr Dash, um, and this is just like. It's faster than destroy, it catches the tornado reach better, um, it has better uh, recoil handling as well because it's got a better shape. So overall, it's also got more raw stamina too, so even if it doesn't like KO or burst it, it will outspin it most of the time. Maybe not. So yeah, for the most part, this combo will like hard counter Crash Ragnarok on Destroy Dash. And I guess another match of them, just now testing for the first time, is this versus Hell Salamander Seven. Proof extreme, no, not extreme dash, extend plus in attack mode. Um, it's very similar to destroy dash in how it like performs movement wise and KO defense wise and life after death wise. It's a little bit better, but doesn't have the strong spring that Crash Ragnarok really needs to uh, survive bursting. Yeah, that was Salamander by a little bit.
the trick is to hope that the hill saw menu user launches a little bit too hard, in which you have a chance of KOing them. But if they launch like super weak. You're taking like as much recoil as they are, your chances of actually killing them aren't too great. And you will get outspun most of the time. Alright, so overall, uh Crash Ragnarok, Zero Cross Destroy. I call it the Crash and Dash. Even though you're technically not allowed to nickname combos anymore. Um It's a pretty like I w I don't even know how to describe it. It's not really versatile, and it's not really like combo that can even beat anything if you use it right. It's just like it's kind of an overlooked combo. Um, it has a unique mix of stamina and attack and life after death that you don't really see in many other combos that are mostly just defense and stamina hybrids. Um, it it requires like some skill and knowledge of the matchups. <laughs> To use because you need to know how to launch it uh, in pretty much any relevant matchup in the game, but um, it's got like it's got some niche use. It's it's a spicy combo. That's what it's supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys whenever I do the next spicy combo, which will hopefully be for Burst Classic or Burst Limited. Bye.